one free traffic from ChatGPT and Gemini. Give me five minutes and you will learn how. You'll know exactly what to do and how to do it. Hey guys, welcome towards the scale. And I've been going crazy about the AEO videos that people have been putting out recently. So much misinformation. Some people swear by it. Some people say it's a gimmick, it does not exist. And this is going to be a short and sweet, that's what she said, video about AEO and how exactly to rank in ChatGPT and Gemini. So I'll just go straight to the point of fluff. What is AEO in SEO? <laughs> It stands for Answer Engine Optimization, which is a digital marketing strategy that focuses on getting your content appear as a direct answer to user queries and search results. This has become increasingly important as AI-powered search engines, voice assistants, and featured snippets provide zero-click answers where users find the information they need without visiting your website or a website. And here I'm not talking about Google AI overview specifically, I'm talking about the likes of ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok, Perplex, and stuff like that. Now, before we proceed, I really need you to give this a listen. Who should worry about AO? And this is my personal opinion. I think the only people who should be worried about appearing in ChatGPT and Gemini are the brands and products themselves, names in general, and all the people that are working with them and for them. It's not as applicable to the niche site owners that have been screwed over by this zero-click mantra and zero-click ideology. But if you have a product, if you have a SaaS business, if you work with a client who is a product, who is a brand, then you absolutely need to learn AEO and you need to make it 100% practical. And this is exactly what we're going to do right now. Okay, so the name of the game is AEO Manipulation. How do we manipulate the results of ChatGPT, for example? And this is surprisingly extremely simple. And when you learn this, you will be like, wow, I had no idea this was so easy. So step one, go to Gemini, ChatGPT. We'll be using ChatGPT and Gemini in this video and ask a question you want to be featured in. In our case, this is going to be best keyword research tools for beginners, which is an extremely high competition question or keyword, but we'll use it for demonstration purposes. And make sure that the search mode is on. It's usually on, at least nowadays. Both ChatGPT and Gemini like to reference online results just to double check themselves. And this is how the conversation is going to look like. You first go on ChatGPT and you ask best keyword research tools for beginners. Here are five excellent keyword research tools for beginners. What to look for, top keyword research tools, Google Keyword Planner, Word Stream Free Keyword Tool, Answer the Public, Keyword Finder, SEM Rush is given its recommendations as well. And if we go on Gemini and ask the same question, best keyword research tools for beginners, we will get a similar list which is going to contain Uber Suggest, Keyword Finder by Mangoes, Google Keyword Planner, and Answer the Public. And we're going to get a breakdown of what each tool entails, or what it's about, its features, and stuff like that. Now, let's just assume for a second, I know it's a stretch, but let's just assume you're not a founding member of either of these tools. You do not own Uber Suggest, Keyword Finder, Google Keyword Planner, or Answer the Public. And But you want your brand, your product, the brand you're working for or with to get featured what do you do now and it's surprisingly simple well, the answer is in reverse engineering how ChatGPT and gemini is collecting information so the only thing that you have to do is to ask a follow-up question and before that obviously you get the results and take note of which products have been mentioned and you are not there so the question is which keywords have you searched online to give me this answer and I will repeat for those of you playing at home and or taking notes, which keywords have you searched online to give me this answer? Okay, and this is exactly what I asked ChatGPT. And I did the same with Gemini. Which keywords have you searched online to give me this answer? And now the magic happened. ChatGPT is actually going to give you the exact keywords it wants on Google or Bing, whatever, and used. And these were the keywords. Best keyword research tools for beginners, 2025, taken out of that. Top free keyword research tools for beginners. Best beginner SEO keyword tools, site Yoast or site Ahrefs or site ACMRush. This is an interesting keyword query. Keyword research tools comparison for new bloggers. Best keyword tools for SEO beginners Reddit discussion. And the beauty 
the absolute beauty of this method is that I can guarantee you that in most of the cases, you will not find most of these keywords in keywords research tools. You might find something like best keywords research tools for beginners or top three keywords research tools for beginners, but I guarantee you that it is very unlikely that Ahrefs or SEMrush have stored some of these keywords. And the same go for Gemini. It provides you with a list of beginner-friendly keyword research tools. I performed a search using the following queries. One of the best user-friendly keyword research tools for beginners, so in an extremely long tail keyword, uh, best keyword research tools for beginners. Easiest is SEO tools for keyword research. This is an interesting one. A shorter variation. To prove my point, let's just copy this. Let's go to free suite of tools by Ahrefs. Let's choose the keyword difficulty checker. No data for easiest SEO tools for keyword research. So maybe it was a fluke. Let's check this one. Same results. And let's check something from ChatGPT. I like this one, for example. Personally, I think this is a pretty good looking keyword, if I may say so myself. And again, no data. See, no data. So what do we do with these no data keywords? And the answer is going to blow your mind. We are going to take note of all the keywords, even the weird ones. And then we are going to write an article for each of these keywords. You need to check the prevailing formatties if uh, all the articles are listicle types of articles. You write a listicle type of article or whatever is in the SERPs and you feature your target brand. And you repeat this process over and over and over and over again. See how easy it is. So once again, I just want for you to really get this. Step one, go to Gemini and ChatGPT. Enter the keywords, study the results, ask this question, which keywords have you searched for? To give me this answer, you take note of all the questions or keywords. In this case, uh, these are one and the same. And then you write articles. Simple. Now, if you want to take this a step further, you can sell this as a service. You can approach brands that are not featured in ChatGPT, and this is extremely easy to check, even on a free account. And you can also build a SaaS. I would recommend it personally, unless you are targeting a specific category or a specific business, I mean, because uh, these tools are popping up like crazy. And I told you in the beginning that these are for brands primarily, and if you're a niche site owner, one of the best methods to get rankings, so even with a zero DA domain, is my search gap method. Go check it out. Not only that, you can learn how to research and find high-end affiliate products, how to rank and outrank your competition, even if your DA is 5 and your competition is 76. You can read all of the success stories with people ranking almost instantaneously. And as a huge edit bonus, you will learn how to write multimedia articles like these ones. So nobody on the internet, on YouTube is teaching how to write these articles. Go check it out. I'm playing a major update of this system. So while the price is still extremely low, secure it while you can. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon. Cheers.